Hello everyone, in this video, I will cover arithmetic operations in R. By the end of this lesson, you will learn the various arithmetic operators in R and use them to perform calculations. These are the following arithmetic operators in R. Addition symbol, which is the plus sign. The subtraction symbol is hyphen. Multiplication is asterisk. Division is the forward slash. Exponent is double asterisk or the caret symbol. Modulo is two percentage symbols. Integer division is a forward slash between two percentage symbols. So let's go into R and see how to perform calculations with these arithmetic operators. Now let's start with addition. So you can simply add two numbers like 67 plus 90. I will highlight this code, click on the run button to execute and the output is returned in the console. You can also use the keyboard shortcut control plus enter to execute codes. So at a point, if you don't see me click the run button to execute the code, then I would have used the control plus enter keyboard shortcut for the execution. If you also want to subtract numbers, you just simply go ahead and write 67, then hyphen is used as minus 90, and then control enter to execute and we get the output right in the console. To multiply two numbers, we can just go ahead and write the asterisk and then execute and we get the result as 670. For division, it is the forward slash symbol. So we can do that, control enter to execute, we get 6.7. Exponentiation is where we get to raise a number to a certain power. So we can do that with two operators. The double asterisk, 6 to the power 2, that gives you 36. And then 6, the caret symbol, to the power 2, and then we get 36 as well. Now for the modulo, this retains the remainder after division. So if you use the modulo and the symbols to use is the double percentage symbols. So five modulo two. And if I highlight this and press control enter on my keyboard, I get the remainder as one. This means when five is divided by two, you will get a remainder of one. 16 modulo four we get the remainder of zero since four goes directly into 16, four times exactly. Now, integer division simply returns the integer part after division. And it simply ignores all the decimal points afterwards. So for example, if you execute the code 15, percentage forward slash percentage seven, it retains only the integer part of the division. If you had used the division symbol, so let's clear the console now and type 15 divided by seven, the answer would be 2.142857. So using the integer division, you only retain the integer part and it simply ignores all the decimal points afterwards. Now for all of these arithmetic operations, if you recall, in our earlier video, we learned how to use the assignment operators for assigning values to variables. So for example, you can just go ahead and say X, and then we assign the value of 18, and then Y, then we go ahead and assign the value of seven. And I execute these codes and we see them right in the environment window. So we can use these variables instead to do the arithmetic operation. So X plus Y, and then we get 25. X minus y, we get 11. x multiplied by y, we get 126. x divided by y, 2.57. x to the power of y, very huge number, right? x modulo y, we get a remainder of 4. x integer division y, we get the integer part, which is 2. 
So you can assign values to variables and use these variables for arithmetic operations. You can also go ahead and write many complex arithmetic operations. Like for example, five plus three multiplied by two raised to the power of four divided by two minus seven. So this is a complex operation. And if you go ahead and execute this code, you will end up getting the result as 22. The issue here is which of these operations were performed first, second, third, and so on. There are some acronyms out there which can help you to remember the order of arithmetic operations. One that I am familiar with is called the Bodmas rule. So this Bodmas actually means bracket first, then followed by order, like exponents, square roots, then division, multiplication, addition, and subtraction. I would definitely want to comment all of these lines of text. And so it would be very tedious if I decide to come to each line and decide to place the hash symbol before it. The easier solution is to highlight the entire lines of text and press Ctrl Shift C on your keyboard to comment these entire lines. Now, I would like to copy the same complex arithmetic operation up here and use the bracket to guide R on which particular operation to perform first, second, or third. Because the bracket actually comes first, anything inside of the bracket would have to be performed first. Now, the bracket I'm using is actually what I normally refer to as parentheses. But in mathematics, it makes no particular difference. So I would prefer for R to simply perform these operations in the bracket or parentheses first. So what is going to happen is that R will first have to perform what is in the brackets first. And so 5 plus 3 will end up, we will get 8 multiplied by, then this one here would give us 2. And then the exponent definitely comes before the subtraction. And so 2 power 2. And so that is going to give you four and then minus seven. But you have to remember that this four minus seven actually is in the parenthesis. And so this would evaluate to minus three and then eight times minus three, you will end up getting minus 24. Now there is something about R. R is insensitive to spacing. So it doesn't matter how many spaces there are between objects. As long as the syntax is correct, when you execute, you will definitely get a result. However, it is a good practice to simply have just a single space, just like writing words in English where you only have a single spacing. So that is the order of the precedence. Now, I would like to highlight this code and execute to see if we get exactly the same minus 24 to see if I am correct. So I highlight this code and I click on run and we end up getting the same result. So this is the order of arithmetic operations and you can use the brackets to guide R on which operation to perform first, second, and so on. And if you do not have the brackets there, then simply it goes with exponent square root and then move on to division, then multiplication, addition and subtraction.